Hey YouTube, Northern Bass Whisperer here, getting ready to put out on uh, Jones Pond here in Goldsville, uh, or Goldsboro, Maine. Um, so just gonna head out, see if we can catch some bass. I've heard that there's smallmouth here. Um, if I don't have any luck here, I'm gonna head down the road to Forbes Pond, which is actually where largemouth were first introduced in Maine. And uh, so if I don't have any luck here, I'll head over there and do a little bit of fishing for largemouth. But I'll keep you posted, see how things go. Hopefully we'll get into some fish. Bring the cam hammock with me, just in case find any islands that are good for a little siesta. Toss that in here. Right. Well, it seems to be pretty shallow along the edge here, so we'll try a little top water, this little section, see if we can entice a bite. Really shallow through here, three, three feet. A little bit of a breeze pushing me this way. Uh, not nearly as bad as yesterday though. Yesterday was simply not, not doable. So it looks like there's plenty of rocks down here. So that would be pretty good uh, cover for a smallmouth bass. There he goes. That was a decent small mouth. Well, they're definitely in here. And so what I've just been doing is rolling the whopper plopper in these shallow areas around the grass and there's rocks for cover. And just rolling it. Well, that's too bad I didn't get her in the boat, but. So when you're fishing sporadic weeds like this, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but as I'm coming up to these weed beds, oh, did you just see that fish jump in the background there? Ooh. As I'm dragging it through, just depending how I hold my rod tip, I can kind of walk my bait through those leaves. Lift it a little bit and it'll curve to the left, right. It doesn't take much, but it can be very helpful. Like when you're going through there, you can see a little, a little path in the lily pads that you're just coming up on. You know, you can shoot to the side of it a little bit. It's a good way you can uh, get, you know, close to cover especially if your boat is drifting like this and your trajectory may change slightly as you're retrieving. All right, so we're gonna throw that right over in that area again because we just had something swipe at it. This time we're gonna do a quick and then slow roll. There we go. There we go. Nice. Acrobatic little guys. There you go. Little small mouth. See if we can't get big brother. They're not a lot more exciting than a nice top water bite. All excited just seeing the ones jump in the background knowing that any second a monster could just explode on this thing out of the air tail kicking oh yeah 
one strike like that is worth a million casts. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Well, they may not be biting my bait, but they're certainly putting on a show for me. Little guy, big appetite. <laughs> ah, there we go, buddy. Well, so far it's been a good morning. Had about four or five smallmouth so far. Nothing massive. Couple, couple decent sized ones. Couple came off the hook right off, but you know what? That's fine by me. They weren't monsters that I'm gonna cry about or anything. Definitely interested to see how the rest of the day goes. bait and then swam towards me. Didn't even feel the tension at first. 